This content is for educational and entertainment purposes only. It does not constitute investment advice. This is how to unlock true order flow analysis on TradingView. I've noticed that many of you, especially on our recent and very successful order flow IQ videos, are having trouble setting up the indicator correctly to get the most out of it and perform top level order flow analysis on TradingView. So in this video, I'm going to specifically go over exactly how I set up this tool for all of its features so you can copy exactly how I do it when you're performing your order flow analysis. As you already know, order flow IQ has a ton of order flow based features. So setting it up can be a little bit overwhelming at first, but once you get used to it, it'll be your best friend for trading each and every day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe with notifications on. Thanks to you guys, we have blown past the 6,000 subscriber mark and we're closing in on 7,000 subscribers. Now first, a lot of you have mentioned that you get this error when using order flow IQ. Loop takes too long to execute. And thankfully, this is a really easy error to fix. You see, because order flow IQ is trying to calculate a genuine volume delta footprint for each and every candle. But sometimes it tries to draw the footprint on way too many levels and that causes the loop error to occur. So all we have to do to fix this error is go into the footprint settings and change the tick level distance. Start with a number like 500, just so you can see exactly how that affects the footprint generator for order flow IQ. And after I've made this change, we can see the error has been resolved and I have my footprint boxes. And if I go back to tick level distance and set it even higher, we'll see that the footprint boxes become larger and larger and comprise more and more tick levels. You specifically change this setting in order to define how the granularity of the delta footprint generator. But every time you see the red exclamation mark error that says loop takes too long, it can always be fixed by coming to tick level distance and changing the tick size to something higher. Next, I noticed a lot of people were really interested in the bar delta stats and delta class features for this indicator from our last two videos. But when you actually select to show bar delta stats or even delta class, you may notice that your chart starts looking like this. Now, in order to view this information correctly, all we have to do is come up to the indicator name here in the top left, where it says Trading IQ, Order Flow IQ. Click the three dots and find the option that says Move To. Hover over this option and select new pane below. And once you do that, you'll have full access to all of the bar delta stats or delta class stats so you can perform the highest level of order flow analysis. If you want to also have the delta class indicator preset active, simply click the indicator name again, select the three dots and hit copy or control C. And once you've done that, go back up to the main chart where your candlesticks are, right click and in this list of options, find where it says paste or control V and go ahead and click paste. And once you do that, you'll have the exact same order flow IQ indicator with the same settings on your chart again. And what we'll do is go back to the three dots for the new order flow IQ indicator we just pasted, hover back over the move to section and click new pane below once again. And once we do that, we can see we have the same information duplicated on our chart. But what's important here is that we take one of these order flow IQ indicators, hover over their name, click the settings button again, and go to indicator preset. And for this specific order flow IQ instance, we're going to select Delta class. And voila, once we've done that, we now have all the information presented to us for the bar Delta stats, and we have all the Delta class information presented to us on a different chart pane. So we can see the CVD by USDT order size as well as the bar delta stats. And finally, you can copy order flow IQ again from the three dots 
click copy, right click your main chart, and then click the paste button. In order flow IQ will be back on the main chart. And from here, you can come back to the indicator presets and select either on chart or IQ volume profile. Please note that live delta class lines and CVD will both go in their own pane, just like the bar delta stats do and the delta class indicator. So I'll select on chart for now. And once I have selected on chart, you can see that I now have my footprint generation, order feed, my delta class statistics panel, and my delta stats statistics panel, allowing for the highest level of order flow analysis on the entire platform. If you want to eventually add the IQ volume profile or live delta class lines or CBD, you can follow this exact same process where you have multiple order flow IQ indicators on your chart using these different indicator presets. Oh, and if there's anything else you want to see added to order flow IQ, let me know in the comments section below or join our Discord server and post in one of our channels about what you want to see in order flow IQ. And after I have this setup done, I can crank up the IQ volume profile, CVD, delta class lines. I can choose to have my delta footprint be calculated as CVD, change the imbalance percentage and stacked imbalance count. There are so much to do with order flow IQ. It's truly an all-in-one order flow based tool. So that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe with notifications on. And don't forget to follow us on TradingView and Twitter so you always know what we're up to. And if you need a trading home, check out our Discord server where we have active traders talking each and every day. That'll be it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one with another order flow video.